A great walk will do the trick thought Wildrow as he made his way to a local convenience store. He felt dizzy and excited. The type of excited you could only have felt when you find out a person you have a crush on, admires you the same. The feeling before a good, hearty, and uninterrupted shit session. Wildra wanted to leave bite marks up and down someone's arms and fingers. He began gnawing on his fingers and knuckles while picking up pace in his walk. His corduroys made the sound reminiscent to small, continuous, and muffled farts. He saw a police car slowly drive by opposite his direction, so he immediately picked up a toy fire truck that was randomly in a yard he was passing by, and threw it into the driver's side window of the cop car hitting the female officer in the mouth and bouncing all over the car. The officer slammed on her brakes, jumped out of the car, and quickly pursued Wildrow who was ripping up someone's mail and attempting to eat the paper. The officer yelled at Wildrow to get on the ground and put his hands behind his back, while forcefully trying to get him on the ground. Wildrow began shitting his pants almost endlessly for someone who hadn't eaten much during the previous week. He'd been on a steady diet of popcorn, beef jerky, fingernail clippings, and hand-foot skin. His pants started to look like someone dumped two gallons of coffee into a plastic shopping bag. As the officer got him to the ground, shit poured out of his pant legs creating a puddle, and leaking into a storm drain. The smell wafted into the officer's face causing her to throw up all over her uniform. With a fat bleeding lip and the vomit, she looked like she was possessed. Still shitting his pants, Wildrow positioned himself accordingly to start biting the officer's elbow skin. The officer tased Wildrow, which turned out to be ineffective. She finally got him cuffed both hands and feet. Other police officers arrived thanks to the people of the neighborhood seeing the ruckus and reaching out to them. The corner of Franklin Street still has a funk in the air and when it rains the smell carries over to Main Street for the local residents to enjoy.